Good evening. Good evening and welcome to El Centro's 2018 commencement exercise. My name is Dr. Jose Adamas and I'm very proud to serve as president of El Centro College. Please remain standing with me to honor our great nation with the presentation of colors performed by the Adamson High School Color Guard, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance led by our Student Government Association President, Ms. Joanne George, and a musical selection by the ECC Ensemble. Please recite the Pledge of Allegiance with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Let's give Ms. Joanne George, Adamson High School Color Guard, under the leadership of First Sergeant Casey Jones and ECC Ensemble, a solid round of applause. Now I'd like to have the ECC Ensemble present a musical rendition. Let's give a round of applause for the ECC Ensemble and the Color Guard as well. Please be seated. I'm really excited tonight because our celebration is twofold. We're here to celebrate you, 
our 2018 graduates and to celebrate another milestone in El, Cel El Centro's history, its 50th commencement exercises. Wow, isn't that an exciting opportunity for you? You know something? As you get older, I'm told that hearing is the first thing to go. So I want you to scream out El Centro when I ask you to, because I want folks that are on Elm Street and, and Elm and uh, Lamar and the West Campus to hear it. So let's do it in one, two, three, El Centro. One, two, three. Okay, so my hearing is not going away, so I'm okay. You will notice at the front of our commencement program pictures of former students that graduate from El Centro during these past 50 years who have become professionals in various fields. ECC has awarded 37,296 degrees and certificates since it opened in 1966. Most of the credit for this great track record goes to our past and current faculty. Will all ECC faculty please stand to be recognized? Thank you, thank you. Our theme for this special commencement is my education, my contribution, my future. Yes, this evening is about your life's journey that has taken you to this milestone in your life, earning an associate degree or certificate. You now have the knowledge and skills needed to further your education or to get a job that pays a living wage. We have done our part. Now it is time for you to take what you have learned to make a positive contribution to this community, city, state, and nation. Now it is my pleasure and distinct honor to recognize our platform guests. Please stand as I call your name and remain standing. Board member, Mr. Philip Ritter. Guest speaker, Ms. Barbara Sue Cheryl Jones. Student speaker, graduate, Ms. Alicia Davis. Student Government Association President, Ms. Joanne George. Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Greg Morris. Vice President of Student Services and Enrollment Management, Dr. Shamine Crawford. Vice President of Business Services, Ms. Lenora Reese. Principal Wright L. Lassiter Early College High School, El Centro College, Mr. Michael St. Amar. Thank you for your... Thank you for your commitment to the mission of El Centro College, changing lives through higher education. Thank you so much for, for joining us today. Please be seated. Now, it is my distinct pleasure and honor to introduce Trustee Philip Ritter. Mr. Ritter was elected to the District Board of Trustees in May of 2016. He, was, he has served as Chair of the Board Finance Committee since joining the Board of Trustees. He currently is the Chief Operating Officer at the Meadows Mental Health Policy Institute. He formerly served as the Executive VP of DFW International Airport and Senior VP at Texas Instruments Incorporated. He earned his BA at Urban Studies with Honors from the University of Maryland College Park, a law degree from the University of Maryland School of Law, and an MPA from UTA Austin LBJ School of Public Affairs. His civic and professional services include, among many, lifetime trustee of District Foundation, chair of the 2004 District Bond Campaign, which secures voter approval for 400 million in capital improvements for the district, and is involved in many other educational and civic organizations, including United Way, UT Dallas, and the Dallas Symphony. Please join me in welcoming Trustee Ritter to the podium. Well, thank you, Dr. Adamas, and uh, it's great to be here. We got a memo, all the board members got a memo about six weeks ago saying, where do you want to go for graduation this year? And I said, I want to go to El Centro and be right here with you guys, and it's a real honor and privilege to be here. And on behalf of our board, we have a seven-member board. I'd like to congratulate all of our graduates today. I'd like to 
thank our faculty and our staff and Dr. Adamas and everybody at El Centro for another wonderful, wonderful year. And I'd also like to uh, acknowledge and express appreciation for all of the friends and supporters of our graduates and of El Centro. Um, this has been a little bit of an era of celebration for the Community College District because two years ago, we had our 50th anniversary. And so this year is actually our 50, 50th commencement, the anniversary of our 50th commencement, two years after we opened. And of course, El Centro was the first campus that, we, that, uh, that the Community College District had. And I'm a bit of a history geek, but um, I don't know if you guys have been reading the papers this week, but a very, very prominent early supporter of the Dallas County Community College District passed away last week, Mrs. Margaret McDermott. And she lived to be 106 years old. She was the wife of one of the founders of Texas Instruments, and she had a lifelong passion around education. And so 50 years ago, when 52 years ago now, when the district was created, Margaret was elected one of the uh, first trustees of the Dallas County Community College District. And um, I'd like to share a few words about what she said it was like to be a trustee at that time and think about how much things have changed. She said, after the election in the spring of 1965, the Dallas County Junior College, that's what it was called back then, trustees faced problems that even the hardest pressed college boards would seek to avoid. Several members had never met, much less worked together. There was no chancellor, no creative faculty and staff, no buildings, no land, and no students. I mean, that's where we were 52 years ago when Margaret got elected. However, she continued, from the first meeting, there was one unifying determination that the Dallas County Junior College System stress excellence and endeavor to be outstanding in the nation. And the hiring of our first chancellor, Bill Priest, and his selection of first-rate associates and faculty, the acquisition of land, we have seven campuses in the district today, and the opening of El Centro with its fine student body brought the planned impact. That's what Margaret said uh, about uh, her early years in the community college district and the role of El Centro. So what can you take from the life of somebody like Margaret McDermott, you know, a, a leader in the community, and what's the relevance of a her life and the inspiration perhaps it could offer to all of you as graduates? Well, I would suggest a couple things. First off, she had a lifelong passion and interest in education in every form and in making it accessible to as many people as possible. Secondly, she loved Dallas, and she gave back to Dallas consistently throughout her life and was very, very grateful to what the community gave to her. But the third thing, and perhaps the most important, is she really took an interest in people, people as individuals. And so um, if you get a chance to mentor somebody as you get older, to lend somebody a hand, to be an advocate for the community college and education, it would thrill Margaret, it would thrill all of us for you to grab that mantle and take it and make it your own as we move forward ahead into our next 50 years. Congratulations, graduates. Um, look forward to seeing you up here on the stage shortly. And um, thank you very much. It's great to be with you tonight. Good evening. Graduates, good evening. Yay. My name is Dr. Shameen Crawford. I'm your Vice President for Student Services and Enrollment Management. Graduates, I am very excited about being here this evening to help you celebrate reaching an important milestone in your life journey and to also celebrate an important milestone in El Centro College's history, graduating its 50th class of students. You should feel special about that. I'm also excited to have the privilege to introduce our student commencement speaker, Miss Alicia Davis, a young lady who is devoting her life to serving and inspiring our youth. Alicia was selected from among six contestants who applied to be this year's commencement speaker. Congratulations, Alicia, for being this year's winner. Let's give her a round of applause. Just very quickly, a little bit about Alicia before she uh, addresses the, uh, the, the, the graduates. Alicia loves giving back to the community and investing in the lives of people, especially youth. She is an active member of Trinity Church in Cedar Hill 
and youth leader at Explicit Youth Ministries. She is highly involved in the Assemblies of God Fine Arts Festival at both a local and national level that develops middle school through college age students in the arts. She has also been involved in Inspire School programs where she mentored middle through high school girls in South Dallas Public Schools. Alicia is a nursing student who has excelled academically since entering El Centro College in spring 2015. She has been actively involved in the El Centro Student Nurses Association and served as president of this association during the spring 2018 semester. She is a member of Phi Theta Kappa and the National Honor Society for Nursing Alpha Delta Nu. Alicia has not yet decided where she will pursue her bachelor degree of nursing in the fall, but she is strongly considering the University of Texas at Arlington. Her ultimate goals are to become an emergency room nurse and one day a trauma nurse. Please join me in welcoming Miss Alicia Davis to the platform. Thank you. Um, I'd like to take this moment to thank everyone that's here, especially uh, my family, my dear husband of eight years, and my daughter, Selena, and my Nana. Um, thank you, faculty, uh, board members, administrators, family, friends. Thank you all for being here. I look out before me and I see. I see a crowd of family, friends, and loved ones. I see educators and administrators. I see my fellow El Centro classmates. This is what I see with my eyes. I see Miss Barbara Sue Cheryl Jones, the very first graduate of El Centro College and Dallas County Community College District. She's here tonight to help us celebrate our graduation and a very special, this very special occasion, El Centro's 50th commencement. I'm honored to be a part of this momentous occasion, and I'm looking forward to hearing how Ms. Jones's success story began at El Centro. Let me tell you what I also see, though not with my eyes. I see you, single mothers and fathers. I see your late nights, your early mornings, and those days that the late nights turned into early mornings without sleep. I see you, young person, I see that you came to a community college straight out of high school. I see you setting up your future for success, no matter what brought you here during this chapter of your life. I see you second, third, fourth degreeers. I see you not settling for something that you know is not your true passion. I see you education majors. I see you determined to make a difference in the lives of the young and old alike. I see you health profession majors. I see you committing your life to putting the lives of others ahead of yours, promoting health and healing when your heart soars and when it shatters. I see you computer science majors. I see you advancing our technology to make education, information, healthcare, and communication more accessible than ever before. I see you culinary arts and hospitality majors. I see you not just feeding people's hunger for food, but feeding people's souls during happy, sad, celebration, and mourning. I see you creative and fine arts majors. I see you evoking the strongest of emotions through expressions in all variations of mediums and reminding us that the arts make our soul speak when words alone are not adequate. I see you business majors. I see you making sense of the numbers and big stacks of contracts to help others' dreams come true and be realized. I see you engineering majors. I see you designing and building the future, making it more beautiful, functional, and an efficient reality. I see you criminal justice majors. I see you seeking justice and making a positive difference in this ever so delicate atmosphere of unrest. I see you other majors that I didn't mention yet. I see you making your own unique ripple in this world. May you never lose your passion and drive that brought you this far. I see you, we see you, and they see you. The sacrifice that it has taken to get to this moment is not lost on anyone who has walked this journey with you. And the journey is not over for any of us, whether it be immediately continuing your education, 
joining the workforce, or taking some time off before you decide what's next. No matter where the journey leads you, I have a challenge to each of you. Now, I'm a nursing major. Hey, nursing majors, we did it! <laughs> so indulge me in my next illustration and reference. I challenge you to use your five senses. Hear. Use your two ears to hear. Do not just listen to what people say. Listen to what people mean. Smell. Use your nose to smell. Smell the home-cooked meals, even if they're burnt. Smell the love behind the overcooked garlic bread and cherish those moments. Taste. Use your tongue to taste. Not the burnt garlic bread, but the taste that stay with us for a lifetime. Sweet success, bitter defeat, both make them drive you. Feel. Use your skin to feel. The heat of the Texas summer, which we all feel right now. It may be in the middle of January sometimes when you feel the Texas summer. Feel the goosebumps that comes when you hear, I love you, or the chill of saying your last goodbye. And finally, see. Use your eyes to see. The good, even when we see things on the news that make us want to lose all hope. The bad, but don't let it harden your heart or to live in fear. Let it motivate you to make and be the difference. The beauty, both simple like a dandelion by the sidewalks and complex like the fireworks from your reunion tower at New Year's. The not so beautiful. But I challenge you to dig deeper than the surface and find the beauty not so easily seen. I see you. Now, go out in whatever happens to be your next adventure in life and see, hear, smell, taste, and feel. Congratulations, everyone. We did it. Wasn't that amazing? Thank you, Elisa, for your encouraging and insightful speech. It is my privilege to introduce you to a pioneer and trailblazer of El Centro College and the Dallas County Community College District. She was one of the first students to experience a new non-traditional modern and innovative concept of higher education by enrolling in a junior college in Dallas, Texas in September 1966. One year after the college opened, she became El Centro's and the district's first graduate in 1967. This past fall semester, after 50 years, Ms. Jones was invited back to Dallas to visit and to be honored for being the first graduate of El Centro and the district. She had a chance to visit and tour El Centro's facilities and was amazed at all the changes that have taken place, especially that it grew from one college to seven colleges. After Ms. Jones received her associate degree of arts in 1967, she later earned her Master of Science and Master of Arts degrees from Texas A&M University. Her life experiences have been varied. She became a well-known photographer, an English teacher in higher education and public schools, manager of a cattle ranch and peach orchard, wife and mother. So it gives me great pleasure to welcome to the podium our guest speaker, Ms. Barbara Sue Cheryl Jones, the first graduate of El Centro and the district. Thank you, Dr. Adamas. I'm honored to be asked to speak tonight. My talk tonight will be brief because I could die any minute. <clears throat> I know this because when I was a healthy 42-year-old woman, my 16-year-old son, with tears in his eyes, told me that I was so old that I could pass away any minute. That was 32 years ago. And since my departure time must be way overdue, I'd better make this quick. We Texans take a lot of pride in just surviving. Our super summers, our tornadoes, and our floods. Way to go, Houston. 
I am so proud of our Texas spirit. Class of 2018, you have survived the crisis in your life to proudly sit here tonight. I know something about every one of you. You are tenacious or you would have given up by now. As we say in Texas, you are made of the right stuff. You have stayed in that educational saddle for the full eight second ride. Talk about staying power. El Centro is now located in the old Sanger Harris building, <clears throat> built 108 years ago. And no, I was not there when it was built. It was the first building in Dallas to have electricity and an elevator. To say that it, is, it was modern is an understatement. That elevator is still working today. And I wrote on it just a few months ago. So don't say anything about things being old. In 1967, when I attended El Centro, I knew the building as the Sanger department store where I used to shop. When the Trinity River would overflow and cover parts of Elm Street, the common gauge was, has it made it to the Sanger building yet? In January of 1967, a sinkhole 200 yards long, 15 feet wide, and 15 feet deep opened on Elm Street between Griffin and Field. The hole was there for a full seven months. It was filled in just in time for the opening of El Centro. The first year the college was open, it was entertaining if nothing else. The elevators would sometimes descend to the floor intended. But a lot of the time, they would stick, leaving passengers to jump a foot or more to reach the floor. All except the original elevator installed in 1908, it worked just fine. Once I noticed a very authoritative man managing the coat room in the lobby. Yes, we had a coat room. Coats were so heavy then, you didn't want to drag them from class to class. The regular manager was absent that day, and the chancellor of the college system, Dr. Priest, was checking hats and coats. Everyone helped wherever needed that first year. In my go-go boots and mini skirt, not micro mini, I sat in the very large egg-shaped chairs in the lobby of the college and felt very space age. I was very modern in an age full of first, some good, some not so good. I was in Dallas when President Kennedy was assassinated two blocks from El Centro. I heard Martin Luther King's last Sunday sermon at the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. I lived near the NASA base in Houston while preparations were made for the first man to step onto the moon, and much, much more. I spent seven years earning an Associate of Arts degree and had a daughter along the way. I, she was two when I received my bachelor's degree. It was five more years before I received my first master's and 21 before I received the second master's while working on a doctorate that I had to stop because my husband was relocated. But I'm saying something to you right now about all those degrees. Not one of them ever compared to the births of my two children. Those degrees, though, enabled me to help provide for my children to set an example for my children, and to inspire my children. 
I worked away from home and bar borrowed government money while attending school. Now just what kept me going, a kid who never liked deadlines or homework? One memory kept me going. When my mother was 16, she won a full scholarship to Baylor University, <clears throat> but her family could not afford to send her because of the Great Depression. They didn't have the money. She had the third highest score in Latin in the state of Texas, but was unable, unable to go to college. To continue that thought, let's, let's go back 64 years. I'm 10 years old, and my mother is attending Oklahoma University while my father works nearby. I have never seen her happier. She just finished her freshman year. Then suddenly my family is having to move back to Texas because my, of my father's work. As my family was moving boxes to the front yard to be loaded into a truck, my 29-year-old mother sits on one of them and begins to cry. Her heart is breaking. And when I ask her what makes her so sad, she simply repeats a line from a famous poem. I have measured my life in coffee spoons. I will never again have a chance to attend a university. I will never receive a degree. I cannot afford to go to SMU. My mother has been working at the University of Oklahoma as a student, and her words burn into my soul. And I promise myself that I will find some way to gain what my mother never did. And I have. Thanks to El Centro for my start. Someone at El Centro, Dr. Adames, refers to me as a pioneer. Members of the class of 2018, you are all pioneers for people of the future. Will you be proud of how you how you face the fears in your life? Will your actions leave a trail for others to follow? Will you just make money, or will you make a difference, a positive difference in this world? Your answer depends upon how you handle fear. Some of you in this audience can relate to feeling pushed to the limits of your endurance. We Texans are convinced we can do anything because we are a tenacious group and come hell or high water, nothing is going to stop us. Nothing except the unpredictability of life. But if we have true grit, we will face whatever comes our way. I hope you are daring enough and tenacious enough to pursue your goals. When you're old and sitting in a rocking chair on your front porch, I hope you can laugh about all the things you've done, not all the things you wish you'd done. President Teddy Roosevelt said this about conquering fear. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man falls, but the man who, if he fails, at least fails daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. The Critics is the name of my favorite Western painting. It shows a man shoeing a horse and four men sitting on wooden fences, judging the job that is being done. The world is full of people who will give you advice, but only you know the right path for you. My dream was always to work for myself, and I did that by creating the first photography ranch in the United States. Hey, it's Texas, why not? I had no earthly idea what I was doing, but that did not stop me from being tenacious about it. In 1973, I began the greatest, most rewarding 
most money-making adventure in my life. In moments of humiliating crises, I learn who I am and whether or not I have enough gumption to enter the arena of life and keep coming back after I'm knocked down. I learn how it feels to break out in a cold sweat while photographing dead bodies for the local sheriff. I learn how it feels to have a photo lab call and tell me that a prom camera began to malfunction right after the test photos and every picture is ruined. Or a different lab call and explain that most rolls of film from a wedding are lost due to a fire. I learn how it feels to present a life-size portrait of a school photo to parents of a recently deceased child. I learn what a Texas temper I have when a chauvinist football coach turns sprinklers on $3,000 worth of camera equipment and tells me that I should be home baking cookies. I bet I'm the first woman to ever storm into that male locker room. Yes, I know how it feels to be knocked down in the ring with everyone watching. In 2015, I am on life support. When doctors ask my children, how stubborn is your mother? My daughter and son ask, why such a question? The doctors explain that my chances of survival are not great, but, a, but that if I'm stubborn enough to fight for my life, tracheotomy and all, then I might be able to eventually have all the tubes removed from my body and learn to walk again. My children look at one another and reply, oh, she is stubborn enough, believe us. Obviously, they're correct. I'm standing here tonight. I will accept stubborn as a synonym for tenacious. I may have fear, but that does not stop me from continuing to enter the arena of life. And fear must not stop you in your life's journey. I have had a stepson die, two husbands, a nephew, and a daughter and almost died myself. I know depression and heartbreak from the depths of hell. I stand here tonight assuring you that no matter how well your plans are made, life at some time will get in your way. You must be willing to push aside your fear and keep your eyes on the prize but not at the expense of those around you. Sometimes a timeout is required as a mental health break for those you love. Remember this if you remember nothing else I say tonight. Your life is like a jigsaw puzzle. You get one oddly sheep, uh, shaped piece at a time. Sometimes that piece will not fit anywhere into the picture you have formed so far. Put that piece aside. It may be the last piece you ever put into the picture, but you, it will help to make your picture complete. And each piece will fit just as the designer of your life intended. As you leave here tonight to celebrate, know that your associate degree has already opened doors for you that you never knew existed. Congratulations, class of 2018. Ms. Jones, please join me at the podium. In appreciation for being our 2018 commencement speaker, I would like to present this plaque to you that reads, in appreciation to Barbara Sue Cheryl Jones for delivering the 2018 commencement address, El Centro, May 10, 2018. Thank you.
Thank you so much. I appreciate this more than you will ever know. Ms. Davis, please join me at the podium. Ms. Davis, in appreciation for being our 2018 commencement student speaker, I would like to present this plaque to you that reads, in appreciation to Alicia Davis, student speaker, 2018, commencement Del Centro College, May 10, 2018. Thank you. Now I would like the following groups of students to stand and remain standing. Audience, please hold your applause until I conclude calling our groups. Honor Scholars, Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta Math Society, Lambda Nu National Honor Society, Sigma Alpha Lambda Honor Society, National Society of Leadership Success, Rising Star Graduates, Men of Distinction, Student Government Association, Student Organizations Leaders, International Students, Europe Graduates, a special recognition to our veteran graduates who are wearing red, white, and blue honor cords. And ECC's and El Centro's first graduating class of our dental hygiene program. This graduating class received a 100% pass rate on their first attempt of the Commission on Competency Assessment Clinical Board. Congratulations to all of you, congratulations. Please be seated. Now I would like to ask the Lasseter Early College High School graduates to stand and be recognized. These 54 students, these 54 students are receiving their associate degrees before they receive their high school diploma. Congratulations. Please be seated. And I'd like to recognize El Centro staff members who are receiving degrees from El Centro. Please rise and be recognized. Congratulations. Now we have come to the most exciting part of our program, the presentation of our 50th graduating class, class of 2018. It is my pleasure to recognize Vice Presidents Dr. Greg Morris and Dr. Shamine Crawford, who will present the graduates. Vice President Lenore Reese will assist me with distributing the diplomas. Lasseter Early College High School Principal, Mr. St. Amar, and Assistant Vice President, Mr. David Barrientos, will distribute the, to each graduate a gift uh, keychain from the college. Mr. President, distinguished guests, members of the faculty, graduates, families, and friends. At this time, we are presenting the candidates of El Centro College for Associate of Arts and Associate of Arts in Teaching degrees. Brandon Dixon. Reshwanda Graham. Melinda Armitage. Daryl Perkins. Reese Harriman.
Olivia Briones. Ruri Castillo. Alexandra Martini. Amanda Lira. Julia Tucker. Daisy Martinez. Marisol Reina. Leslie Vidal. Janae Silver. Virginia Smith. Annabelle Gonzalez. Michael Rogers. See, Lali Barrera. Susie Gomez. San Juanita Davila. Deontay Williams. Shekinah Williams. Elandra Guardiola. Albert Williams. Javorius Ransom. Canice Till. Rachel Royal. Chelsea Smith. Nicovia Peterson. Retha Johnson. Lucia Alcasio. Laura Juarez. Anna Jimenez. Danny J. White. Nishi Thapa. Veronica Mendoza. Mario Pena. Crystal Whiteside. Jasmine Hartfield. <laughs> Janet Moti. Janelle Cervantes. Denise Escobedo. Jesse Wilson. Margarita Galvin. Luz Colunga.
Gabrielle Avalders. Elizabeth Lado. Yolanda Edwards. Latanya Robinson. Samuel Wise. Arnelia Yabut. Claudia Perez. Mr. President, at this time we are presenting the candidates of El Centro College for the Associate of Science degrees. Ricardo Fuentes. Giancarlo Beriendo. Alejandra Diaz. Susan Moala. Shantara Blaylock. Michelle Miner. Gabriela Mayergor. Rosa Umanzor. Lanique Thornton. Marvin Levingston. Jean Baptiste Kowanwa. Brandy Ware. Joao Kowanwa. Maria Alcaraz. Jacqueline Dominguez. Anna Garcia. AJ Dahal. Ruben Garung. Dinesh Tamang. Noel Tamang. Clarissa Ovalle. Elsa Padilla. Blanca Marquez. Zachary Fletcher. Jesse Rodriguez.
Joseph Krushin. Francis Naloma. Lecundo Chiquilla. Jessica Castro. Nancy Martinez. Perla Urbina. Anna Salazar. Is it working? Hello. Feliz Dia de las Madres, Mommy. I love you. <laughs> Tammy Johnson. Sandra Fajardo Costilla. Dejeni Asai. Carlos Reyes. Cassidy Conger. Carlos Enriquez. Carla Gatton. Danielle Hargrove. Praise Love Day. Sabrina Mitchell. We did it, KJ. Boreal Bowie. <laughs> Ethel Roan. Beatrice Ruiz. Ashley Jones. Norma Correas. Kimberly Medellin. Idali Medellin. Juan Ramos. Jessica Lopez. Heber Perez. Marie Noba. Leslie Alvarado. Selena Gomez Gonzalez. Ebony Jones. Angelise Thomas. Alex Figueroa. Tamara Richardson. Tamlin Booker graduating with college honors. Kelly Jeffers. Marielle Maldonado. Melissa Ariza. Lamika Curry.
Crystal Rios. Arianne Marshall. Jasmine Rhodes. Makai Hemphill. Miles Hooks. Tiana Phillips. Tarshiana Hall. Caleb Benson. Alfredo Gallegos. Jessica Gonzalez. Derek Davis. David Alvarez. Jonathan Hernandez. Abigail Ramirez. Daniela Garcia. Isabel Lopez. Suyapa Estrada. Eric Gasca. Christian Salinas. Brandon Cabrera. Rachel Cruz. Lana Williams. Noemi Miraz. Maryam Yusuf. Shalene Vidal. Nicole Wells. Melissa Torres. Sky Coronel. Rafael Martinez. Mario Hernandez. Carlos Alvarez. Lance Holtzclaw. John Butler. Jose Barrera. Rebecca Lado. Syra Maldonado. Laura Reña. Chastity Tover. Joanna Ponciano. Ariana Barrera. Roxanne Bustillo. Evelyn Soto. David Amager.
Edgar Vargas. Lucy Herrera. Danya Matthew. Teresa Acosta. Christina Cervantes. Daniela Hernandez. Alan Esquivel. Jobin Rojas. Ivan Santos. Samantha Reyes. Marcus Gonzalez. Pablo Robinson. Maria Sanchez. Blanca Aguilera. Hua Win, graduating with college honors. Musu Zina. Eliza Tejerina. Gregory Ramos. Judy Wynn. Fernando Diaz. Daniel Moreno. Ariel Berderis. Christian Castro. Giovanni Alberto. Jesus Espinosa. Maria Escamilla. Teaqua Andrews, graduating with college honors. Mr. President, at this time, we are presenting the candidates of El Centro College for Associate of Applied Science. Doris Broussard. Effie Miller. Marcella Gastruzzo. Aaron Greenwood. Sebastian Trinka. Laura Jane Adams. Andrea Montez. Teresa White. Amber Martin. Donald Sutton. Tielen Fonseca. Selena Gadson.
Beth Haynes. James Moore. Erica Cardiel Guerver. Veronica Dodds. Joanna Espinosa. Perla Gallardo. Alina Karki. Tina Kidd. Cynthia Wells. Shanna Wilson. Allison Duncan. Bianca Escada. Alexis Wheeler. Kelly Donovan. Andy Din. Samora Vance. Crystal Crodell. Maria Lynch. Bianca Esparza. Cynthia Castro. Diana Castillo. Wendy Rodriguez, graduating with college honors. Anna Mendoza. Cameron Valencia. Pamela Williams. Emily Gossett. Tabogo Catuso. Matthew Ecule. Richard Ha. Taker Abdul Amir. Mayra Rodriguez. Yunmi Potts. Ivan Vasquez. Ashley Tran. Angela Smith. Stephanie McDonald. Christy Kabanek. Sharon Harris. Ariana Campos. Marilyn Russell. Lydia Momani. Kristen Paredia. Marisol Estrada. Maria Flores.
Jessica Benitez. Dante Flores. Michael Luster. Sarai Blanco. Alan Alva. Miko Negeke. Carolyn Ellis. Jessica Hope. Gabby Velasquez. Tristan Xavier. Good job. Divine Okachuku. Ifioma Chinawa. Faith Akinmade. Haley Tomlin. Deanna Venable. Melissa Rodriguez. Jamie Sunny. Morning Star Rodriguez. Selena Marie Roble. Cassandra Morell. Lakeisha Williams. Yesenia Medina Miranda. Nancy Ramos. Alejandra Corral. Rochelle Jones Mitchell. Robert Martinez. Sala Hafid. Kanita Gray Giddens. <laughs> Kelly Henderson. Dominique Bailey. Michelle Brown. Iwana Bates. <laughs> Sundas Benterki. <laughs> Nicole Colum Horn. <laughs> Madison Reagan. Allison Ray. Alexis Maldine. Maria Chavez. Hannah Wilson. Brittany Gaitan. Sarah Lazunik. Maribel Gomez. Julia Viafana.
Molly Barbian. Asil Ahmed. Shelly Olson. and Alicia Davis. Adela Baleza. Maria Maria Vega. Patricia Mendez. Sandra Montes. Augustin Martinez. Brenda Rodriguez. Woo! Gabriela Reyes. Woo! Amina Salemovic. Benita Platas. Myra Baruman. Esmeralda Hernandez. Okay. Yeri Cisneros. Sorry about that. Duang come on love. Keila Henny Brown. <laughs> Brianna Esquivel. <laughs> Asal Meshkinian. <laughs> Elizabeth Cortez. Nuvia Zuninga. Tambra Morgan. Ejoranke Ajao. Selena Gamez. Olynthia Price Hamilton. Gina Pope. Nasiba Tamori.
Jessica Rodriguez. Kimberly Larry. Salma Gamal. Julieta Ramirez. Eric Vargas. Kelsey Martin. Marisol Sacido Tovar. Natalie Saad. Melissa Bull. Shannon Tombs. Caitlin Garcia. Chelsea Morris. Kelsey Collins. Abigail Aguillon. Cashlyn Johnson. Alicia Bahari. Cherie Spar. Eric Gamino. Fitzum Gibre. Mark Dow. Ryan Carreño. Daniela Castellano. Tamika Brown. Diana Roman. Michael Salvador. Ann Nguyen. Loam Berhe. Darsal Greer. Rafael Cardoso. Giovanna Argueta. Amber Yarborough. Lauren Lamb. Christopher Chavez. Daria Nunez. Jacob Brown. Cameron Newsom. Kesia Hendricks. Sarita Antwi Bosiaco. Okay. 
Amy Conine. Miguel Alva. Norma Hernandez. Brittany Parks. Jamie Platts. Teresa Lujan. Nathan Watts. Allison Maines. Mary Ellen Resalvado. Paisley Smith. Anthony Rodriguez. Karen Covarubias. Adela Wilkinson. Guadalupe Armas. Brian Mendoza. Shumisha Haynes. Talisha Delosia. Denai Boyce. Courtney Chappelle. Pamela Berkner Eli. Maddie Hutera. Okay. Maddie Hutera. Yay, Maddie. Nicole Kinline. Uh oh. Kristen Burka. Amanda Scott. Isabel Al Alvarez. Marco Pacheco. Maria Grisolia. Mariah Graham. Kim Rimmer. Zenaida. Zenaida Hernandez. Yafa Al Harani. Tycom Wright. Abigail Gonzalez. Sabhadra Phillips. Lindsay Lahan. Anna Rose De Leon. Nock Nguyen. Eric Capersu.
Jane Passio. Juan Pinon. Marcella Reyes Chinchilla. Amber Sardina. Natalie Lloyd. Corey Black. Keniska Bailey. Clayton Linneman. Leslie Mata. Clara Gloros. Jessica Vasquez. Nexil Dorr. Leticia Harley. Daisha Gray. Daisha Gray. Tanya Hamilton. Tia Adams. Ashley Edwards. Amber Lott. Aline Foso. Martha Jepchichie. Amanda Flashbart. Hope Saunders. Vered Shrim. Tawana King. Diana Tello. Leticia Venegas Villa. Rachel Rocamontes. Yannette Basilio. Erica Alvarez. Stephanie Trejo. Kylie Wa. Maria Pisano. Renee Paramo. Julie Patterson. Allison Cato Ramirez. Deasia Gibson. Timothy Spence. Angelica Ledesma. Angelo Mauricio. Vanessa Rodriguez.
Darylin Landa. Caitlin Castro. Yolanda Turner. Lauren Michelle Woods. Asia Lewis. Hannah Bird. Yahira Sifuentes. Catherine Lozano. Rashida Harris. Brooke Clark. Brenda Ganzar Gonzalez. Tunisia Sims. Shawan. Shawan Roman. Amber Coffee. Jessica Cole. Lisette Aspara. Yvonne Loya. Lydia Dansala. Francesca Dixon. Tamika Thomas. Oreste Toro. Arturo Phillips. Stephanie Ventries. <laughs> Jessica Washington. <laughs> Shondell Henderson. <laughs> Catherine Den. Mary Beth O'Neill. Emily Blanc. Alina Brownlee. Oksana Cox. Naila Gilbert. Julian Martinez. Neely Bryan. Rachel Wong. Shelby Piat. Rachel Martinez. Shandini Madhav. Rachel Clevenger. Sarah Gonzalez. Keith Stewart. Crystal Morrill. Just kidding, just kidding. 
Chastity Alexander. <laughs> Dinesha Ewell. <laughs> Eric Patterson. <laughs> Audrey Priest. <laughs> Jennifer Adams. Edmund English, <laughs> Gabriela Vasquez, <laughs> Ricardo Nunez, <laughs> Tyree Kitchen. <laughs> Nancy Ureeb. Mr. President, at this time we are presenting the candidates of El Centro College for certificates. Ricky Thompson. Brianne Bynum. Brenda Cisneros, Emil Berry, Emily Berry, Karina Alvarez, Sandra Quintero. Jennifer Cervantes, Tiffany Dean, Areli Gaona, Lashandra Ervin, Bridget Marshall. Leslie Hercules, Jennifer Martinez, Eridian Reyes, Adrian Gomez. Kinu Armstrong, Andra Atkinson, Salise Jones, Alondra Guerrero Rodriguez. Laura Navor, Martha Mendez, Eleanor Payne Samuels, Alicia Williams. Maria Rico, Jenny Ochoa, and Adina Hernandez Sandoval. Brendis Perez. Angel Wardlaw, Danette Medina, Moses Mugwe,
Luz Kumara Nina. Rosa Santiago. Fatima Salinas. Anna Castilleja. Brandon Frainer. Daiga. Got it. Charles Daiga. Jonathan Shade. Taylor Griffin. Desiree Luster. Andrea Ortiz. Kayla Trinell. Jasmine Washington. Jesus Venegas. Sunaiga Raya Maji. Ariel Aguayo. Tony Harris. Danielle Foster. Regina Stubblefield. Yeka Odo. Sandeep Tapa. Sandaya Rai. Sujana Sunuwar. Alejandra Reyes. Kesherika Shaw. Florence Papula. Let's give all the graduates a nice round of applause. This is why you work so hard, so celebrate. Will all candidates for certificates and associate degrees please rise? <laughs> by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the Dallas County Community College District, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Associate in Arts, Associate in Sciences, Associate in Applied Sciences and Certificates with all the attendant rights, responsibilities, privileges, and obligations appertaining thereto. You may now move your tassels from the right to the left side. Congratulations! You made it. 
You made it. Please be seated. Without a group of dedicated faculty, administrators, and staff, we would not be able to be true to our mission of changing lives through higher education. Faculty, administrators, and staff, please stand to be recognized and acknowledged. Thank you so much. You may be seated. Now, those in the audience, I'd like to ask all parents to stand, grandparents to stand, husbands and wives to stand, significant others and children of graduates to stand. And a special recognition for mothers, since Sunday is Mother's Day. Muchas felicidades a las madres para el Día de las Madres. You may be seated. Thank you. Graduates, this evening, you have written another chapter in the special story of your journey in life. It is a celebratory chapter with lots of hugs, fond moments, and the fulfillment of dreams and aspirations. Today should not be seen as the end of your journey in education, as education is a lifelong pursuit. Remember all of your fond memories of El Centro and know that we welcome you as graduates and alumni of the El Centro and District family. Special thanks to our commencement co-chairs, Becky Garza and Gisela Flores, the, commence the commencement committee, all of our volunteers, the Adamson High School Color Guard and their JROTC, Amy in Instructor, Army Instructor, First Sergeant Casey Jones, and their principal, Ms. Diane Nunez, Ms. Barbara Sue Cheryl Jones, Ms. Alicia Davis, and Ms. Joanne George, Professor Jennifer McAtee, and the EC Ensemble. Let's give them a round of applause. Trustee Philip Ritter, Vice Presidents Dr. Morris, Dr. Crawford, Ms. Reese, Lasseter Early College High School Principal, Mr. St. Amar, and Dr. Barrientos. And you, our graduates and attendee, will the audience please stand and sing the college's alma mater led by the El Centro Ensemble. Please stand. The words are printed in the program on page 22. After the song, it is requested that all guests be seated until the FAPLON party, graduates, faculty, and staff have recess. <laughs> <laughs> 